They're called contrails, short for condensation trails, visible in the sky. And according to scientists, these thin white trails impact the environment. The global aviation uh, is uh, a significant source of climate change impact. Um, and a portion of that is actually not direct CO2 emissions, um, but the secondary effects that come from contrails. This is where the flight actually is, that red dot. In an effort to mitigate the impact of contrails, a team of researchers from Western, along with the Global Meteor Network, is working with an experienced pilot to change the flying altitude of planes by using ground-based cameras to observe aircraft. A small percentage of flights, about 15 percent, would, would need to make uh, little corrections just in, in a height that don't cost much uh, to eliminate contrails entirely. The major problem is that uh, there is no data to inform the models to, to send the airplanes in, in the right direction, and we're changing that with our, uh, with our project. The project is now financially backed by Google and Breakthrough Energy. There was a need for uh, model verification uh, validation, and it occurred to me that we could use the, the global media network to validate uh, the, the contrail models. Contrails can induce warming of the Earth. Vita says existing satellite systems, on average, detect contrails 30 minutes after formation, limiting their utility for actionable mitigation. The goal is that, you know, in the last couple of years, there was a there was a big growth of the network with, you know, with thousands of cameras around the world, and now we want to expand our capabilities. So we have the data, and we want to just do something for the world and you know, the general public and for science uh, with, with the data set that, that we have. Rita Ismail, CTV News.